Amsterdam-based think tank European Foundation for South Asian Studies or EFSAS hosted a webinar titled Rise of ISIS in South Asia on the sidelines of the 45th session of the United Nations Human Rights Council. A panel of scholars, policy analysts and researchers in the field of terrorism and South Asian politics deliberated upon the origins of the Islamic State of Khorasan province, its main areas of operation and assessed its number of fighters mostly belonging to Pakistani origin. So the ISKP have been very active in Nangarhar, subduing large areas, including whole districts up to a period. The force also attempted to project itself further, attempting to establish a presence in places like Helmand and Kandahar in the south, Ghazni in the southeast, and even the north, up into Balkh and Fari up in the, in the northwest. They've had a lot less success in this. ISKP have also targeted Shia Muslims and the city of Kabul. Mass casualty attacks uh, are a major feature of ISKP's military operations, and ISKP would love to trigger sectarian violence Eastern Afghanistan allows them the potential to do this, offering valuable resources and opportunities for all insurgent groups. It borders the safe havens in Pakistan. The Spingar mountain range that forms the southern boundary between Nangarhar province and Pakistan is a tough geographical barrier, difficult for US, Afghan or Pakistani militaries to penetrate. The Khyber Pass area offers a good smuggling hub for arms, fighters and narcotics. The problem is, if you talk to the security officers of Afghanistan, uh, they will all point to the hallmarks of attacks of the ISIS uh, and say they're extremely similar to the attacks conducted by the Haqqani network. So they say ISIS is a totally different face now. Uh, when Taliban or the Pakistani ISI would like to conduct an attack, just blaming it on ISIS, simply they, they basically say, OK, we are not supporting this, uh, but actually they are doing it. We haven't seen any evidence, but again, the insurgency landscape is so fluid. Uh, material, people, uh, even resources are shared widely and extensively. But the whole discussion in Afghanistan is that the ground for all this has been uh, made by the Pakistani ISI, and they are keeping ISIS as an option, so an open option when, in case somebody else like the Taliban um, they kind of free themselves from their circle of influence. 